Hey everybody, I'm Lucy's mom, Jodie. Hi. Basically, um, Lucy wanted to tell people a little bit about her McCoddles, and the best way we thought to do this was by people asking her a question, and she answered them. We've got a cup full of questions that we've had, but we've decided to go with five at a time. And the first five she's picked out are these. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Okay, right, the first one is from Terry, Dan's mummy, and it says, What is it like to meet up and spend time with other Macardalites? It's really fun. Is it? Yes. Because it's like, if you, when you meet the Macardalites, you get to have like a couple days there. Yeah. And it's like really fun because you get to meet all your friend, your friends again, and it feels like a family. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> so let's find your next question. This one is from Bronte's mommy. It says, "Is it easier to talk to your Macardo friends or your normal friends?" My Mikado friends. Why? Because my Mikado friends know what Mikados are about and my, what's different with my uh, my normal friends is that we might need to like explain Mikados. Right, okay. And they won't know the meaning of it. Why do you think they don't know the meaning of it? Because if because they don't go to Mikado Light Adventure. Um, so do you think that your Mikado Light friends don't understand? Uh, I'm sorry, your normal friends don't understand, but your Mikado Light friends do? Yes. So do you, do you, what is it you have to do with your normal friends that you don't have to do with your Mikado Light friends? have to explain everything to them. Every time or? Really just every day. Oh, right, okay. And is that just annoying or... Annoying. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's annoying. But they get it eventually. Yeah. Okay. But your McCod like friends are better. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then. I've got another question for you. It says... Oh, it's from Terry again. How do you feel before Second Wind? I feel like my legs are hurting a lot. And when I'm in second winds, my legs, like, they are, like, calm down. They feel like they're ready to do what they're supposed to do. They're, like, it's like when there's something hard to do and you believe you can do it. Oh, right, okay. So before second wind, you don't feel like you can do anything? Or can you do it, everything? It I'm confused. So It what? doesn't feel... Like, okay, because you don't feel like you can do it when you actually can. Right, okay. So, once your switch turns on, that's better. Yes. Oh, okay then. Uh, Irene's mummy has asked, mm -hmm. what are your secrets to getting into second wind? How do you do it? I have to... My secrets are that I have to stop and start every time it hurts when it like starts to hurt a little bit it doesn't matter if it only hurts a bit that you can hardly feel it but you have to stop and count to 30. Oh right okay so if you were to teach me how to do second wind the idea is that if it just starts to hurt a little bit not yes. a lot I stop. Mm -hmm. I count to 30 when I stop and do I count to 30 really quickly or slowly? Slowly because if you count quickly, your energy will not fill up. If it do, if your energy doesn't fill up, you have to like about three or four steps, then you have to stop again. All right, okay. So how many times does it take to get into second wind? One, two, three, as many as it takes? As many as it takes. Okay. Is it worthwhile keep going until you get into second wind or is it better just to give up? To keep going. Okay. So have things been better for you since you have learnt how to do second wind, would you say? Yes. 
So that, is that a macod like secret? Mm-hmm. Second wind. Oh. Is it good when your brother gets into second wind? No. no. <laughs> okay. He goes crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, last question. Why did you find writing hard at school? Because the palm of your hand, it like hurts because you're not moving it. What do you mean all? you're not moving it? So is it... So this part... The palm is like still like a statue mm-hmm. and it will not help. Okay. So what's made it easier to write at school? I use the new grips. Are these the ones that um, Electric Boy's mummy told us about? Yes. And it's got like a ring to like where you can slip your finger through and you don't actually have to hold it tight. You just hold it like... A normal pencil, but lighter. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Good thing. So, holding the pen lighter helps. And do you have to... Yes. So, what's the difference between having a finger grip and not having a finger grip? Because if you don't have a finger grip and you're holding it as light as you can, it might slip out of your hand. Right. Because um, if if you have a finger grip, there's something hooked onto you finger mm-hmm. which it does if you tip it like that way so it's facing down mm-hmm. it doesn't slide off okay so if you haven't got your finger grip and you have to squeeze the pencil does that hurt or is it okay it hurts a lot it hurts a lot and then what do you do if it hurts a lot i have to stop and count to 30 My even t- for your finger yes oh. even for my thing I have to use three fingers or four fingers mm-hmm. to like write with. It's like it all they all hurt. That that's the bit which I'm struggling with because if if I lose my finger grip, that's okay because I have a case which I've got three finger grips. Mm-hmm. But I've only got one left because I lost one. <laughs> oh, right, you've lost them. Someone needs to buy some. No. <laughs> I've got one left. Okay, then. May so the finger grips have definitely made it easier for writing at Yes, school. so if you lose one, you don't, like, have to panic and say, I can't use my finger grips anymore. Ah, very good. Is there anything you want to say to anybody? Yeah. Yeah? What would you like to say? Thank you for watching our video.